Hi guys, today I will be sharing how to make chocolate chiffon flan. For the ingredients, we need 1 cup of granulated sugar for the caramel, 1 fourth cup of granulated sugar for the flan, 1 egg that I will add into um, 8 egg yolks. So all in all, we've got 8 egg yolks plus 1 egg. We need 1 can of condensed milk which is 395 grams three hundred seventy five ml of evaporated milk and also we're gonna be needing one teaspoon of vanilla so I've scattered my um, sugar to fit my pan my pan is 9 by 13 inches so I'm just melting the sugar at first I'm not moving it but once the sugar has melted I can start moving the sugar so I'm gonna turn off the heat as soon as the sugar turns into amber color just like this now I'm gonna let it cool down completely Moving on to the flan, I added the sugar to the egg yolks and then I added the condensed milk and the evaporated milk. Now using a whisk, we're just gonna mix this until they are well combined. Now we can add the vanilla and continue whisking. Not vigorously, we don't want a lot of air in the flan. And now using a strainer, we're gonna pour the flan on top of the caramel and we will set this aside. Now before we begin with the cake, we're gonna preheat the oven at 160 degrees and this is my setup with the oven so on this tray I will put hot water and then on top of this um, I will put the choco chiffon plan to bake so we're creating a steam in the oven Now we're gonna move on to the cake. We need seven egg yolks and seven egg whites. Along with that, we're gonna need half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, two teaspoon of vanilla, two teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one and three fourths cup of cake flour, half a cup of oil, one teaspoon of instant coffee half a cup of dutch processed cocoa powder this is one and three fourths cup of sugar that we will divide and half a cup of hot water to begin we're gonna combine the instant coffee with the hot water give it a mix and then we will add the dutch processed cocoa we're gonna mix this until it is well combined and then set this aside now this is the eight egg yolks I'm gonna add three fourths cup of sugar and then one cup will reserve for the meringue so that's the three fourth cup of sugar into the egg yolks I'm using my um, whisk that I used to mix the um, ingredients so I don't want to waste the um, chocolate flavor then I whisk it until it is light pale yellow just like this now I added the two teaspoon of vanilla and now I'll add the oil At this point, we can add the cocoa hot water mixture.
make sure that um it is not hot or else it can cook the egg the egg yolks and now we can sift in the flour cake flour it is baking soda and salt and then using a spatula just gently mix the um batter just using a folding method to do this and now we can set this aside and move on to the meringue so i have seven egg whites that i'm beating using an electric mixer and then i added a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar and then i'm gonna beat this until it is frothy at this point we can add gradually add the sugar the sugar is one cup remember we divided the sugar before so we're adding the sugar a little at a time Once the sugar is all in, continue beating until we reach the stiff peak stage. So this is not the stiff peak stage. When I lift the bowl upside down, the uh, meringue doesn't fall and it doesn't move from the bowl. Now we're going to combine the chocolate batter into the meringue. Or the meringue into the chocolate batter in three additions using a folding method now we can add the second addition of the meringue again being gentle not to deplete the um, meringue or the air from the meringue So this is the last addition of the meringue now at this point we need to be very gentle and make sure that you're scraping at the bottom of the bowl and do not over mix and now we're ready to put this on top of the flan again we will bake this in a preheated oven at 160 degrees celsius for about one hour five minutes or until when you insert a toothpick or a skewer in the middle and it the skewer comes out clean before baking give it a light up to get rid of some large air bubbles and this is what it looks like after baking now i find that it's easy to um take this out of the pan about 45 minutes to be sure that the flan will not stick to the um, cake pan so after 45 minutes using a spatula i will run it between the cake pan and the cake or around the side of the cake just like so Then shake it a little bit just to make sure that the caramel is um, loose and then flip it upside down. Now you can see that there are two dimples on top of the plan. That's quite normal uh, but other than that imperfection, this cake tastes really good. It always happens when you're dealing with chiffon cake that you don't flip upside down once it's done baking. It sucks the air from the bottom of the pan. 
and this is the finished product i hope you give them a try this cake is so easy to make and delicious and now just to show you what it looks like when you cut the cake Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!